What it is, YouTube, your boy Black Prince the Barber. Do you guys remember hearing this right here? This move right here, man. This uh Weezy F baby right here, baby. You know you see what I'm saying? What I had to do? So you know what I'm saying? I'm mad at him. He yeah. mad at me because you know what I'm saying, I wanted home yesterday. He said I wanted home. They but I was, hey, I was on my niece's house all day yesterday. I do apologize for that. No, I, I, I'm, I'm sick of it. I hate to go against my own barber. I hate to do that. My barber, he, he just do me wrong every time. Come on. I'm going to put a chain on this right. Okay, YouTube, you seen that. Now, he was doing all that bragging about cuz this, cuz that. But when I got through with this haircut, I'm not even going to go no further. I just want you guys to check it out. Make sure you guys give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want me to do more videos. Your boy, Black Prince the Barber. See you on the other side. What it is, what it is, what it is, YouTube. It's your boy, Black Prince the Barber. Sorry I've been a little late on these videos for the last couple of weeks, but I've been a little busy. But let's jump right up into it. I already started to make my first initial guideline, which is I am balling my cousin off. By the way, this is my cousin in the chair, getting that fresh ball fade. But let's keep going. Make sure your work is clean as you cut because you want to have a generous and clean work because your environment has to be sanitized and make sure everything is neat as you go because you don't want to have a messy cut you notice that them liners i have they are hidden so continue to watch as i clean my cousin ball fade up and then one more thing make sure the bowl of the ball fade is clean underneath the hair All right, YouTube, I forgot to mention this part to you. I'm gonna only cut with zero guards, period. I'm not gonna jump up to no one open, uh, no one and a half or nothing like that. Everything is just a one basic cut. Zero guards and just the, only the blades. So if you stick around long enough, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about because I'm not using no other guards but the zero and just only the blades. So continue to watch. As you notice in majority of my videos, I always use my Oster Fast Feed. I mean, it, don't get me wrong, I love to use my Oster Octane, but it's something about them Fast Feed that I like. I guess because it give a much softer blend. But check this out. I open my Oster Fast Feeds up and I go up an inch. Now, what I told you guys before, I'm just gonna only use the zero blade. I'm sorry, the zero guard. Now, I always, maintain your work and make sure everything is clean as you go because like i said you always want to have a clean haircut if you start a cut off fresh it will end up fresh It really don't take much to cut a ball fade. Only thing you're doing is just opening your clippers, adjusting your blades, and all of that good stuff like that. Mainly detail. But right here, what you guys see me doing, I have my guards, I'm sorry, I have my blades all the way closed. I'm just actually feathering out that bottom line. After I feather out that bottom line, I kind of like open it gradually and start to feed myself up with the fade. Because if you cutting a ball fade with a zero guard, it's not much that you can do with the details so I always remember to work in tight spaces because it don't matter what kind of haircut it is the spaces that you're cutting in as a fading is going to be a tight space to work in so just take your time and remember to always feather out Alright YouTube, my camera had a big skip in it, but the only thing I'm about to show you guys is to 
slap that zero guard on there, make sure you open them all the way up and don't go over an inch. Just go exactly an inch and make sure you feed everything. Be very consistent with your work. Remember to always feather out and brush or feather out and comb because it really don't take too much with a ball fade because considering a ball fade, like I said before, you have to work in tight spaces, meaning you have to get the little bulk out. I mean, it don't really just take much because you're working with a ball fade. And then you're gonna notice I'm gonna come back around and close my guard. So I'm gonna fast forward this part until my guards are closed. All right, YouTube, I told y'all I was just gonna do a basic haircut with the zero guards. I left them on my uh, clippers. Now what I'm doing right now, I'm just actually just feeding out that little feather line right there because that line need more attention than the whole haircut because that's the most important part of fading period because you want to knock that line out. And also remember to always use the corner of your blades because if you don't use the corner of your blades and you use the whole blade, you can knock that fade up. So feed your feed the hair considerably through the guard blades because it really don't take the whole clipper to cut the hair. A lot of barbers probably didn't know that, but I just want to put it out there like that. But just use the corner of your blades because that's where the fade come in at the corner. Okay, YouTube, I showed you guys the basic steps of the haircut, but right now what you see me doing right now, just actually just doing a little detail work, just actually getting a heavy book that's not really just needed in the haircut so it can give it that burst fade look. Stick around long enough because we about to get up on this hairline and you guys gonna really enjoy that part right there. I didn't really just did too much on the line, but you guys will soon find out, like I said. But while y'all looking at my haircuts and everything, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also follow me on Instagram. And most definitely, let me get at least 20 likes on this video. Continue to watch, thank you. Alright YouTube, before I said I want to line them up, I just want to stop right here and show you guys something. I want to make sure the hair was laying down because it's for some obvious reason. Before I line my client up, I always go back over the hair to make sure everything is laid down to a pattern because you don't want to just halfway think you cut the hair and next thing you know everything don't look right. So just go back over his hair because everything going to fall in place. But let's continue to watch this part right here because I'm about to get up into that line up. Okay, before I even start to jump off with my clips, first thing I do is grab the alcohol because I want to sanitize the hair. I mean, a lot of folks don't realize that, but always sanitize the area that you're working with, especially during a lineup. That will prevent scars, scratches, and all of that right there. So beforehand, remember to use that alcohol so you guys will understand what I'm saying. So just continue to watch this video because it's fire. This haircut is real fire. I'm letting you know right now. Considering the hairline is the most important part of any barber that know how to cut hair because that's the most important part of cutting hair, lineups. Lineups and details is the most and very important part in cutting. But let's get back to this. Notice I start in the middle with my client and I work my way to the right because I see that his right side is more of a higher peak point. Then I kick back to the left. So that's how you actually make your hairline straight. So keep on continuing to watch and notice how clean his hairline come out. Okay, YouTube, his right side is a higher peak point. So what I'm doing now, I just grab my hair brush and I brush his hair to the front. Then I go in with the Anders TI lines to make that even line. Remember to always make your line so straight because you want the vertical bars to match up with the top hairline so everything just fall in one place. That would give the haircut 
one tight blend. So take your time with that brush and remember to always don't put too much pressure on that hairline because you can irritate your client's skin. So just take your time and just do that. Continue to watch. Thank you. Okay, YouTube, I'm about to fall in with the Kiss Express. I just want to tell you guys one something. The Kiss Express, I use K98 and K89. The K89 is like a dark brown color that give a more vibrant look of the hairline with the K98. So mix them two. Well, I actually mix my two up in my reservoir before I even start the hairline. But I don't really just believe in adding them in no containers. So I just add it in the reservoir, add a little alcohol in it, and just shake the reservoir real good and continue to spray the line up but when you spray the line up spray at least six inches so you don't want to spray too much on the hairline because that will give the hairline a whole new meaning because you don't want to just overdo it continue to watch thanks YouTube, this is the cut, and if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. You can also follow me on Instagram at black underscore print 79. In order to purchase the tools that I use in all my videos, the links will be in the description. So it's your boy Black Prince the Barber out with them fire haircuts. May God bless. No fucking blouse up, bitch. I make it rain, y'all. You did that. They wanna know a thing about you. You still that.